We're talking 47,000 people at this point. It was more last night. The storm caused major damage, uprooted trees, and a lot of uh, power lines down. Local force Nick Monticelli is live in Wayne. Looks to be one of the hardest hit areas, Nick. Yeah, this is it, Rhonda. And you mentioned Michigan is closed because of no power. That's a major road, but there are intersections all throughout the city of Wayne and Monroe that are shut down. No power, so treat those as four-way stops. Your morning commute is going to be difficult. Now, I want to talk about some of the damage. This is kind of the epitome of it. This is the worst, so to speak. You can see this giant tree uprooted and toppled over because of the high winds yesterday. And you can see how it busted up that sidewalk right there. That concrete is almost about six feet tall. It comes right to the top of my head. So it's a pretty big problem out here. So all of that is going on. There's a whole lot of damage uh, within this block. But I want you to take a listen to this because throughout yesterday, there were some major power lines coming down, causing some major problems. All right, so you can hear what that power line sounds like. That burr, burr, every time a park or an arc of power comes through there, obviously DTE crews got out there, eventually were able to shut that power down. But what a horrible situation to have as people were standing around watching. Fortunately, nobody got hurt. Now you're looking at video of some of the other issues, down power lines, down trees, one landing on top of this SUV, people getting their chainsaws out to cut it out and get that SUV removed. Fortunately, nobody was hurt in any of this, but the people I talked to said they swore a tornado was coming through here. It was pretty scary. All of a sudden it was like a, you, just, you couldn't see nothing. You couldn't see nothing. That's how hard it was raining. And I woke him up as soon as I heard and he jumped out of bed and that was it. Yeah, it was a big branch, branch on our, there's a big branch on our terrace and I can't believe this. This is wild. And look up right that away. sidewalk and everything like that. That's incredible. Yeah, and it certainly looks a whole lot different here once the sun has come up. So she was talking about not being able to see anything. I talked to another guy who said he was driving while this was happening. He couldn't see like two feet in front of him. He stopped in the middle of the road because he couldn't see anything. That's how bad this was. And I do want to reiterate, though, no power throughout most of this community, the Wayne and Monroe areas. So plenty of time will be needed. Give yourselves a whole lot of extra time driving because all of these intersections don't have power. You're going to have to treat them like four-way stops, meaning there's going to be some significant backups just getting in and out of these towns. We're live here in Wayne, Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News Today.